Good evening, friends. My name is John Borrego. I am the interim priest at St. John's Episcopal Church in Norman, Oklahoma. And once again, I invite you to join me for one of the devotions for individuals and families from the Book of Common Prayer. Uh, these are based on the monastic daily office, and this is the one that is based on Compline, the service for the very end of the day. If you have a prayer book, uh, you may open it to page 140, and we will begin with the canticle that's in the middle of the page. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. I'd like us to think together a little bit uh, about a passage from the book of Proverbs in the Hebrew Bible, the ninth chapter, beginning at the first verse. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her animals. She has mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her servant girls. She calls from the highest places in the town. You that are simple, turn in here. To those without sense, she says, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine I have mixed. Lay aside immaturity, and live, and walk in the way of insight. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. It is interesting, I think, that um, wisdom is personified as female, but that is a discussion for another time. This uh, wisdom has made a house, has uh, set up the seven pillars of the house. And uh, not only has wisdom set up the house itself, but is preparing meals and welcome for guests. So most of us are in our own houses now, wherever they may be. And um, let's think about how wisdom can live in these houses with us. Most of us are probably not slaughtering animals, but we are probably uh, at some point during the day preparing food, uh, whether we're making it from scratch or putting something in the microwave or uh, getting takeout, uh, we're preparing it, we're getting it ready. And um, we need this nourishment. We need to take into our bodies what keeps us alive. Wisdom also mixes the wine. And wine in ancient times, as well as in our day, is not just something that you drink. It was a symbol of fellowship, of conviviality, of joining together, of being with your friends. My grandson Felix, who is half Chinese, loves toasting. Whenever he's at the table, whatever beverage he has, every time he picks it up, he says, cheers, or sometimes in Chinese, he says, Gande, because a toast is a way of engaging another person. Now, maybe you're by yourself with just a few people, perhaps, or uh, maybe uh, you're with a larger group. But even so, I invite you to lift your glass of whatever your beverage may be as a toast to those near and far who are being bound together by this wisdom which we are all calling for and asking for. And my hope for us is that we do gain wisdom during this period, that we learn about ourselves and about our relationships and about the world around us and about how we want to live our lives. So when wisdom goes out and sends out those metaphorical servant girls to call all of us who are simple, Maybe we made more wise by coming into the house of wisdom. I'd like to ask you this evening to pray with me for the poor and the neglected at this time when there are many of those who may be out of our sights and out of our minds. Almighty and most merciful God, we remember before you all poor and neglected persons whom it would be easy for us to forget, the homeless and the destitute, the old and the sick, 
and all who have none to care for them. Help us to heal those who are broken in body or spirit and to turn their sorrow into joy. Grant this, O Father, for the love of your Son, who for our sake became poor, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And since we are, most of us, in our homes during this time, I'd like to ask God's blessing upon those homes. Visit, O blessed Lord, this home and all of our homes with the gladness of your presence. Bless all who live in them with the gift of your love and grant that they may manifest your love to all whose lives they touch. May they grow in grace and in the knowledge and love of you. Guide, comfort, and strengthen them and preserve them in peace, O Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. And now a prayer as we come to the end of the day. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now I invite you to join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. As always, I invite you to share this video with your friends if you would like, and to add in the comments any concerns or prayers that you would like to lift up. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and remain with you always. And the peace of the Lord be always with you.